Hey guys, cheap here with more cane. I don't know why I randomly click there. Um. Yeah, it's time to go through the PDA of Creepy McCreeperson. February 14th. The day of love. Not that it means much to a senescent bachelor like me. What does that word mean? I don't know if I want to tab out just to read what that word means. Oh well. But oh, an old man can dream, can he not? For old men have nothing but dreams to keep them awake in the sleepy, languorous twilight of their years, one might suppose. And a dream of love is a salve in this chap's unrealized passion, his grief, his regret. Um, I think most of them just watch Jeopardy or Law and Order, to be honest. <coughs> My work in the facility is a different matter entirely, however. Kane has already been delivered to us in stasis, and I still haven't succeeded with even a single subject. Most exasperating problem indeed. Not least, as this would be only the start of my own ambitions, my own renaissance. Dr. Malin's research- we haven't heard of Dr. Malin's, I think. Research has demonstrated that consciousness is nothing more than a program. Instead of equations and instructions and conditional arguments, it can be replaced or replicated, and it can be transplanted. Much like the body's immune response may reject a transplanted limb, so the body's most basic neural encoding, its inherent sense of self, or what Freud called the id, may also reject a transplanted consciousness. The question is how to suppress the encode or that encoding. That's just perhaps the human soul itself. Uh, that's a very scary question. Instead of looking for an answer, instead of solving the predicament of human mortality, I'm dreaming of Joseph Bueno eating me, and it's rather arousing. Okay, so Joseph, just everybody wanted to bang him. Or maybe he's thinking about somebody physically eating him, which is concerning. Like, are you alive during that? Anyways. Now here is an intriguing coincidence. I have discovered that a recent but otherwise bureaucratically insignificant employee in this facility is related to Kane. Genealogy is tenuous, but definitively established. Could a genetic component be the solution to our problem? Acquisitions could be precarious. Or acquisition could be precarious, but a man finds luck where opportunity and preparation meet. This man could use a bit of luck. I have an opportunity, so now to prepare. Hank is mostly my fault. Pray the calendar I told him this morning. Why, he asked. Because its days are numbered, I replied. And then I had to explain the joke, because Hank is not exactly the most socially sophisticated boy. He's not exactly the most ordinary boy. I should have disposed to him with his host. But I'm a maudlet, and besides, I always wanted a challenge or a child. I was or I'd always wanted to be a dad. I named him after my own late father. Man, I confess I despise for reasons too numerous and humiliating to disclose here. My colleagues in the lab call him the hobo. Oh, so that was him. I should probably be insulted on his behalf, but I'm not sure I blame him. Or them. He might be a kind of... ersatz? I don't know what that means. Son, but he is undeniably peculiar. Much like me, since adolescence, I've been fascinated, no, consumed by the prospect of incorporation. Of two people merging, absorbing and coalescing with each other, becoming one. It's obviously been a tremendous motivation for my ongoing research at the facility. But it's also profoundly personal. I could transplant an adult's consciousness with an infant subject. Or if I could. It must be possible. Some recalibration, no doubt. Fundamentally, not a dissimilar process in theory. Transplant an adult's consciousness with another adult. It certainly preclude the vulgar taboo, grisly mess, and dubiously esoteric prospects of old-fashioned cannibalism. Anyways, he is really into cannibalism. And Joseph is the sort of man I always wish I could be. Elegant, charismatic, generously endowed. I mean, I assume he's generously endowed. Oh, you don't know? I'm sure you know. Karen's project is absurd. 
The regrowth of organs is only a temporary solution to the permanent problem of inevitable infirmity. The most impractical one. Sooner or later, the body itself must be replaced. Whatever his pious pretensions and shrieks of heresy. He can... I feel like there should be more of that sentence. Anyways, he can worship Cain all he wants, but science is, as they say, a non-profit, haha, organization. Cain is a client, even if he does technically pay our salaries. Our work here is not some occult apostolic devotion. It is legitimate, if maybe not entirely ethical. I'll concede. Medical research for the future prosperity of humanity. Or at least that guy. Or the future prosperity of our facility. There you go, in Ralph's case. Ha. Huh. We're all about maximizing efficiency over here. We didn't need a health and fitness officer, and everybody who works in this lab is already a medical professional. In the meantime, progress on my own special order is exceeding expectations. Joseph has proven rather more resourceful than I'd first imagined, although I'll claim the credit for his uh, extraordinary virility. I started contriving arrangements for the host transfer to my lab within the next two months or so. The final delivery schedule is just in time for the ho-ho holidays. Oh, Dr. Abrams for me? You shouldn't have. <coughs> I wonder if he's why she's got an issue. Hmm. Anyways, a series of accidents in the lab. Actually, I suspect sabotage of some sort. Found some discrepancies in our security access log, but the joke's on whomever, whomever is responsible because the early termination of our last two host batches has provided a convenient subterfuge for the requisition of my own special order. Now I can watch it on the ultrasound monitor 24 hours a day. All other priorities rescinded. Reports of emergency situation elsewhere in the facility. Although, is that today? Although the details are infuriating, if unexpectedly ambiguous, as per official company protocol, I started the arduous process of backing up my lab work. If a full ex evacuation is called, I could lose the most crucial progress I've made on the project. Progress which has, in fact, come almost to full term. Alright, so I think we need to use a fire hydrant on the fire. Way, you can't leave me. Hey, we just did, jerk. Spoilers, buddy. That's the drawback of locking yourself behind a wall. I don't know what that soda tastes like. Like, yeah, it's got a bunch of drawbacks, but, like, is it lime flavored? I like lime flavored stuff. Alright, we have a fire extinguisher. A fire suppression cylinder. My bad. <laughs> Excellent. And I totally knew it was going to do that. Did you now? That's locked. Nothing. Whoa, what? I think that's what scares me. Oh. The idea that when we die, there's just nothing. It's not nothing. Sounds like you have a life most are envious of. You have kids, right? A real family. Like people know you exist real life. Some of us never got off the starting line. You will have a family soon. When I die, I want to leave something behind. You have that. I have student debt and a goldfish. Your legacy is the child inside of you. This baby deserves more than what I could ever give. It deserves to be part of something. Something bigger than me. A family. A home. A future. So she's probably gonna give the baby up for adoption if she makes it out of this. Which runs with not to the floor. Well, let's look at it. Good job here. Reading everybody's personal information. <laughs> eh, he looks bangable. Shark! What the hell was I thinking? Jeez. I just saw that sentence. I wanna know what happened in the lab. Q 
keep a bunch of pregnant bitches locked up in one place long enough and shit's gonna go down. Everybody knows that. But with Kane arriving next month and now this fucking disaster, security's getting tired than my or than my glutes on leg day. Lol. Oh my gosh, Joseph, you are killing it. Gotta use that line at the interdepartmental mixer later. Between this, my new skincare regime a regime and baby, let's make a DNA hella case and unzip these jeans t-shirt. Those sluts from Oregon Grand are gonna be slipping and sliding off their seat. Jeez! I hit the jackpot, hit it, but didn't quit it, if you know what I mean. A lot of smile. That's like three mouths on that second guy. I keep this plate spinning because her name's Julia Kern. She's only, wait for it, Professor Kern's daughter and assistant. She's a solid 6.8 out of 10, maybe even a 7.1 if she'd shut the fuck up. Nice deltoids. More importantly though, she's in charge of Samantha and her grubs. I played this right and I've got a free ticket to the Oregon Grinders petting zoo whenever I want. More like heavy petting zoo, major threesome potential, lol, maybe. This is like really different than the other ones we've read, by the way. Seriously, this is what you've been waiting for, Brosif. I might even get a cop of feel off Samantha. Why would you want to? See about it gets me so hot. A new batch of hosts is gonna feel that burn tomorrow. Got some new no annoying new guy bothering us in the lab about the facility's new perpetual quantum power system. Dany or something or other. Total beta. He's even got a fucking pet bird. I had to sit through a whole presentation about shit. I don't know. I don't pay attention to chumps. I was too busy dreaming about the nasty things I'm gonna do with Samantha. Why do you want to bang that? Julia gave me the grand tour yesterday around the organ grinder yesterday. I noticed the spare larvae incubator canister in one of the storerooms. That's good to know. A bit busted up, but I think I could fix it. The real problem is, uh, liberating some of those grubs. But just imagine, I could grow my very own sexy mermaid monster. What is with you? <laughs> Maybe I could even put in a requisition for cane tech for an extra orifice mod? Lol. In the meantime, though, I've been cooking up a new sedative mix for the lab hosts that keep them nice and compliant, but also a bit awake. You know, low enough consciousness to keep the EEG normal, but high enough that they know when I'm working on my special projects. Gotta keep myself busy, you know. What? Something wrong with the food. I swear people are shitting out of their eyes. I told one of the interns that danny has been dosing the rations with radioactive goo because fuck that guy and his dumbass bird. It's totally the kind of thing a beta loser like him would do for attention anyways. What the fuck is up with his cheese diet? Sure enough, everybody was blaming that asshole in about two hours. Lol. Managed to grab that larva incubator with two grubs while everybody else in the lab was cramming the toilets though. Hello? Grubette and Grublina. Oh, so those are the grubs that went missing. But I thought the other guy grabbed- How many have gone missing? Adams paid me to hook up with some chick off-site last night. Gave me a bunch of performance enhancement pills. Like the sexual Tyrannosaurus needs it, lol. I had to get video proof and everything. He was very insistent about that. I know he's into that kinky voyeur shit. Actually, I kinda thought he was into me. The old creeper eyeballs me like constantly. Does that make me some kind of like hot wife but a dude version? Is that gay? Whatever. It's cash in the bank and Julia won't ever find out. Like, we didn't already have enough shit stains around the facility. Kane has sent us a fucking health and fitness officer to sort out the food problem. Instead of sending us more food, what the hell are these corporates smoking in the bat boardroom? Because I could use some of that. Is there another one? There's two more. Shit's been fucking crazy. First, the arm malfunctions in the lab. Don't know what the deal is there. But we've had eggheads coming in and out all at all hours trying to fix it. And we lost two shipments of hosts. On one hand, it's pushed us behind schedule. On the other hand, the bruises on those whores were starting to show. Now I've got a whole fresh canvas for my art. Jeez. And hey, remember Ralph? Yeah, Ralph's out. Technically. It was kind of decided he needed to be more useful as the PDT... Oh. It's kind of decided he'd be more useful as the PDT's printer new CPU. Nobody else was more fit or healthy for the position, lol. Now Ralph's doing some real work for the company, and nobody has to worry about logging their macros and carbs or whatever. 
I monitor my own anyways. Oh, somebody found a thing in atmospherics. Some kind of puppet? Made of rotting body parts. I'm pretty sure it's the hobo's girlfriend or some shit. Lol. I guess some guys gotta get it where they can. And let's be honest, who am I to judge? Last but not least, I think Grablina might be pregnant. Yeah, she's definitely getting fatter. And not just because she fucking ate Grabat. For reals, that is the thing that legit ha- Or that is the thing that legit happened. Not her carcass for like a whole week. And her boobs are getting huge. A little punishment, and they spew grub milk everywhere. It's actually kind of hot, but gross. But also hot. What? What? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with everyone in this building? Julia is beginning to irritate the shit out of me. Since we are a few, or since one of our few bruises not a sign of love. A few, lol. Chivalry when they like it, and sexism when they don't. Dude, I am totally the new resident DJ in the crew lounge. My sexy tunes are making the bitches hot for a brosive meetup. Get it? Ah ha, his meet up. Anyways, put my playlist on repeat in the vintage boombox. Pussy magnet. Some kind of emergency drill with the elevator. Don't know what's going on, but it's serious. Ah, uh, now somebody's fucking screaming at the corridor. Gotta go, brah. Alright, so. Just the gentleman to end all times. This room is much smaller than the other. Maybe he drew the short straw. <laughs> this isn't the only small thing he has. Shots fired! Nicholas is trying to suggest somebody was looking for something. Might have been useful. Is wiped out now. Well, discard junk. Nothing stands out as remarkable. Turn some holodecks. Or hollow disk by JB is scribbled on the corner. We got a room here? I have to open it. Bonnie's DNA. Maybe the stain? DNA accepted. Did he jack off on that? That's that's horrifying. <laughs> Alright, we got a voice imprint. Voice playback. <laughs> Sit back and relax and let the brosa take you to a better place. Can I get a J? S-E-P-H. Voice imprint accepted. This place keeps getting stranger. Uh, it's still about equally strange. What? Oh dear. Can you, um... Can you understand me? Do you... Do you need, um... <sighs> At a loss for words. What? Achievement unlocked! Grublina! Alright! Smell sucks wetly at the stale air. Bloated teats giving ponderously above a clammy desultory accumulation of limb-like appendages that clatter and scrabble against the metal pen. Why would I want to touch that? Bring me a yellow mattress. A damp and mildew stink emanates from the blankets. Oh! Got a containment jar now. Um. This is a terrible idea. But he isn't like beating the crap out of people, so maybe. No. Ew. Oh, 
Come on. I don't have the stomach for this. Ew. Oh, I need something like that to go in the... Why is it pink? Alright. I think I need that to get my own grubs? There might have been more to that. Oh, the temperature's gonna make them all... sleepy and stuff, isn't it? Oh, I think I have a PDT and I can change the temperature stuff. Because if they're like in coma mode, they're not gonna get up and do anything, right? Also, it's been like 21 minutes, so the second I'm... Actually, no. Next time we'll walk down the thing. Alright, I'm Cheap, this is Kane, and I hope you guys enjoyed the 20 minutes of me reading. Bye!